a great shot here of just being able to see Trey Lance's mechanics. The biggest thing with Trey, and you hear it all the time, it's his it's connecting his feet to his upper body because as a thrower, it starts with your base. It starts with your feet, your your hitch step, and how that travels through to your motion. Now, one of the things that Trey has been working on is basically becoming more efficient with his base. We've talked about it. We've shown old clips. He typically had this bounce and rhythm hop into his hitch step. So he would rise and then drop. And from a quarterback perspective, that's wasted motion. That's added time. Again, milliseconds matter um, from the quarterback position. I mean, ask Brock Purdy. You know, milliseconds matter. Timing matters. And so eliminating the rhythm hop to how exaggerated it was compared to what we're seeing now in this particular clip, just talking about the base specifically, you can see tangible improvement. You can see that. You can literally see based on how we've tracked from pre-draft, post OTAs as a rookie, second year training camp, and now we're heading into year three. And each step along the way, what you're seeing is the efficiencies driven through his mechanics. And a lot of people think throwing mechanics, they think arm, right? It's not all arm. It is just, it starts with your base. And then it goes from your base to your hips to your arm. And you have to connect everything. I spoke to Trey Lance's uh, pre-draft quarterback coach. I noticed things on tape from North Dakota State because you know he's got an arm. He has a big arm. He has a talented arm. But you would see the ball die on him in certain instances and not even deep throws. The ball would just die. And I asked his coach about that. I said, what is like, why is this happening? Because it's not because he's lacking of an arm. But what what is the situation here? And he said the biggest thing with Trey Lance is connecting his feet to his arm. And that was before he took one step into OTAs. And now we're heading into year three of OTAs. And we've been able to see the progression. And that is the cool thing about this. That's what I love football. You guys know me. If you've been a part of this channel, if you're one of the 361 watching who subscribe to this channel and you check in with lives regularly over the last couple of years, you know that I'm a big developmental guy. Just because you come into the league one way doesn't mean that's who you are all the way throughout. And with Trey, he came into the league extremely raw, them trying to figure out certain things within his mechanics and trying to adjust and make it more efficient so that it can translate into better accuracy, more uh, better timing with his throws, et cetera, et cetera. We're getting to that point where if this is Trey in games, if this is Trey as we continue to see him in training camp, in team periods, then translating that to preseason, then translating that to real games, this is, a, this is good. This is good for Trey Lance's development. This is positive of what we're seeing here in regards to how his mechanics are working. Again, watch the plant foot. He's still... So this is the maturation process of his rhythm hop. See that? That's still a rhythm hop, right? He's still planning, getting his foot back under him and throwing, right? But use, use this fence line as like pretend like it's a line across so that we can keep an eye on his head depth. Because again, one of the first things we identified with Trey coming out of college into the NFL is he would rise. And because he would rise out of his hitch, he would then have to drop back into his throwing stance. And that is wasted motion. Like I talked about earlier, if you watch, he still has a bit of a rhythm step, but it's efficient now. See the rhythm? That's still a little rhythm step, but before he would rise 
and then have to drop back. And it just was wasted time. And you can see out of his hitch and that step, his head is pretty darn level. And then as he begins to step forward and plant, the arm is going with it. You get the nice 90. It looks tighter because before you could see instances where that ball was kind of hanging out there like this. It looks tighter to his body, which again creates efficiencies in the motion. Front leg before, see that front knee right there? Right here, there would be some instances where he would go flat, like his leg would go straight. And then that also impacts where he can be with his whole base. And you can see he's, this is, this is great. I'm really happy for Trey because it's been a long journey to get here for this guy. And he's been through, he's been through some crazy scenarios um, this far in his young career. And again, ideally, right. In an ideal, perfect situation, we aren't talking about throwing mechanics this in depth heading into year three, but at the end of the day, this is where we are and that's okay. And he's only 23 years old and he deserves the ability and the opportunity to develop. And the fact that he is developing tells you that he is able to, or he is putting in the time he's putting in the work, he's putting in the effort, all of it to make those corrections. And that is what is exciting about this clip. Again, against air, no pads, warm-ups, individual drills. It should look good. It should look pretty. It should look nice, right? But with Trey, it hasn't been that way. And it's been a process. What this tells us is he's put in the work. He has put in the time and the effort to clean it up. And that is where the optimism lies. Now, next step, right? We can contextualize everything. Does this mean he's out the weeds and he's going to be an all-pro quarterback? Absolutely not. But what we're looking for next is how does this translate to team period? How does this translate to when the live bullets start flying? Because the thing with technique is that needs to be your muscle memory so when you're when you got Javon Hargrave and Nick Bosa coming in to sandwich you and take your head off obviously they're not going to hit him in practice but what do you what do you do with your mechanics do you revert do you revert back to things that your mind you is used to doing or are you able to stick with what you have been able to do. I'm happy about this, man. Like, I really am. And again, shout out Sterling Bennett. It's a great video um, to be able to just kind of show Trey's motion. And again, I have watched way too many uh, of Trey Lance's pre-workout clips for the last three years, more so than I'd like to admit. Um, but I also feel like I have a strong baseline of his progress throughout. 